Yo, what up, After Buzzers? DJ Jesse here at the Vegas Bash. You know, the host of the Bad Girls Club After Buzz TV After Show. I'm in heaven right now. I have two of my homegirls from the Bad Girls Club. We have, whatever you want to say, Popo Momo. Popo Mo, season seven, New Orleans, what's good? Priscilla, and we have my homegirl, Miss Jenna. What up, girl? What up, babies? You know, I need you to give a shout out to one of our hosts, Mikey. He he was obsessed with you. And can we get a, a full body shot of Miss Jenna right here? Shout out to Mikey. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> All right, girls. So let's get into this. You were on the uh, New Orleans season. Kind of yes. kind of a different steez for the bad girls. What did you uh, do? You talk to any of the girls from from that season anymore? Uh, I do speak to a couple of girls from my season, Tasha, Shelly. You know what, to tell you the truth, honestly, speaking from the depths of my heart, I think we actually had one of the best seasons out of all the Bad Girls Clubs because uh, everybody was just like original, different personalities. It was honestly, I think, one of the greatest seasons ever. Do you think that you uh, walked away with any voodoo? No, I didn't walk away with any voodoo because I have Jesus Christ on my side, thank God. But um, yeah, I think it was a great and awesome experience in my life. Right, so, so you are actually one person to walk away from there and say, I'm thankful that I actually did it. Exactly. I got to experience the whole New Orleans atmosphere and culture and I'm very thankful for it. Now, fighting on the show, what was your position as far as uh, the, the tips that you got in, in, in the house? Honestly, it was all TV stuff. Um, honestly, if it was something on the streets, it would be totally more real uh, actuality. However, you know, a lot of people act as if it was for the TV, and I'm not that type of person, and not that type of personality to deal with that kind of stuff on TV. I don't put on the front, but uh, you know, it is what it is, and I'm happy I walked away with being myself, and that's that. Awesome. All right, now Jenna, girl, you were fierce on the show. I'm sorry, you went in there, you kicked these bitches' ass. You were, you went against the house, then you started making a couple friends in the house. You didn't last too long, which we were very upset about. But you came back on the reunion, and you let these bitches have it. What, what, do you, what were you? Is there anything you regret from your season? No, I don't regret anything. You know, I am what I am. This is what I am, and that's it. If you love me, if you hate me, take it as I take it as it is. But uh, it, it, this is how I am. I'm a fun party girl. I love to have a good time. If you can't handle it, then you can't hang, bitches. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta handle this. You have to be a certain person to handle this kind of personality. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't handle it. They weren't on my level. But uh, there's always <laughs> it is what it is. there's always. It's either balls to the wall or not. It's like you put it on the front or you're going to be who you really are in life. And there's girls that put on the front and there's going to be girls that act who they really are. And I'm proud to be, I wasn't really edited as the girl that I really am in life. But they edited me in a light that I like to be, you know, presented as. Now the twins are here. What's your uh, stance with the twins as far as... There's no stance. I don't know the twins. I'm living my life. I'm doing my thing. It is what it is. I met them for a couple days. I don't know who they are, so it is what I, it is. What it is. I came here. I got a trip here. I'm having a fabulous time in Las Vegas. Couldn't have a better time. It's amazing here. Literally, you can't even, I can't even deny the fun that I'm having right now. I cannot even deny. Here, we're here, gambling, spending money, drinking, the pool parties getting a tan. I can't deny this, but you know what? Again with the show. They, and do you get along with anyone from the show? Oh, um, I mean, I don't, to be, I'll be honest, I don't really talk to anyone from the show. I'm very busy right now. Um, I'm actually doing music, which is really what I wanted to do. And I have to say, the Bear Girls Club, it was a really good platform for me. It was, it was. Do, do you hear the Las Vegas scratch in my voice right now? Do you want me to like... Where can we find it? Oh! Where can we find, find me? It'll be out really soon. I'm in the studio right now. Um, my first single is going to be finished within the next week or so. So that single will be released very, very quickly. 
and it'll be in the clubs. We have a few people working with us, uh, DJs that are going to remix it. So, yes, everyone's going to be fucking pop lock and dropping it to my fucking song. <laughs> Now, going into it, one thing I learned tonight from the bad girls is that most of the girls don't like the girls from their season, but you actually find closer bonds with girls from other seasons. Agreed? Yeah, I totally agree. And I'm very fortunate to meet a cool, down-ass girl as Jenna, uh, you know, East Coast, real-ass, down-to-earth type of personality um, as Jenna because, you know, it's wild when you meet, you know, other personalities from other seasons and stuff. So I'm just very fortunate to meet a girl that's cool that I can get along with from a show that I experienced. You guys kind of have a similar bond. It's like a big dysfunctional family. Now, you were in Vegas, right? Yeah. Where are you going to take her? I mean, you, you, got, you went out a couple nights, got to party here in Vegas. I, I will tell you this. We will party our asses off. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, before the Bad Girls Club, after the Bad Girls Club, I will guarantee you I have the best time of my life. And you can see the best time of my life on YouTube slash hotpinkpo.com, just so you know. All right, so after Buzz, we're following some of you guys around this weekend. So you're telling me that if I want the wildest, craziest reality TV stars, I need to be following you two girls around yeah. and seeing the parties that you guys are going to? It's not a doubt in the world. I have to say, I have to say that there is not a doubt in the world <laughs> that there will not be a better time. I believe there will not be a better time in the world if you follow us here for the next five days. Shit show, disaster. Disaster, shit show, clown show, whatever you want to call it. Come follow us, baby. You're going to have a fucking the time of your life watching this shit. PriscillaManella.com. Check it out. Your life is your realist. We'll show you how we Yeah. <laughs> this fucking girl. All right. East Coast is in the house. Thank you, After Buzzers, for tuning in. Thank you, bad girls. On the count of three. On the count of three. On the count of three, buzz you later, bitches. One, two, three. Buzz, buzz you later, later bitches. bitches.